This video will show you how to use the rigid K5208 drain cleaner. The K5208 is intended for use on drain lines of 2 to 8 inches and up to 200 feet in length. This makes it ideal for cleaning laterals, main lines, and commercial lines. The K5208 uses a 7 8 inch and a 1 and 1 quarter inch diameter sectional type cable with a quick change coupling system for connecting and disconnecting cables and tools. The K5208's durable casing and unique guide hose means the messy cable is never exposed during operation. This improves cleanliness and reduces the risk of cable whipping and entanglement, as well as making the machine suitable for use in both commercial and residential settings. Setting up the machine. Place the machine in a clean, dry, level area within two feet of the drain excess. Greater distances from the drain excess increase the risk of the cable twisting or kinking. If the machine cannot be placed with the cable outlet within two feet of the drain excess, extend the drain excess with similar sized pipe and fittings. With our unique power cord management system, we make it easy as possible to set up quickly. In setup mode, the cord is off the ground and wound neatly around the cable. To remove, twist and pull the locking pin to release the clutch and the whole cord dumps immediately. With dry hands, plug the GFCI protected cable into the outlet. Attach the rear guide hose to the machine by sliding the bracket over the post. Use the lanyard mounted pin to retain the guide hose to the machine. If using the drum style cable carrier, place the cable carrier near the drain opening and the machine cable outlet to allow convenient access for loading and unloading the cable sections. Insert the female end of the cable into the cable outlet of the machine. Push the cable through machine and guide hose until approximately one foot remains out of the front of the machine. Disconnect the cable section from the cable section still in the carrier. Do not use the drain cleaning machine to rotate the cable in the carrier as this may cause striking or crushing injuries. Cable sections can be removed from the cable carrier one at a time as used or all at once as the situation requires. Select the proper cutting tool based on the nature of the obstruction. If you don't know what the obstruction is, use a straight auger to explore the obstruction and retrieve a piece of the obstruction for inspection. As the cutting tool is installed, make sure that the spring-loaded plunger in the coupling on the end of the cable moves freely. If the pin sticks in the retracted position, the cutting tool may fall off in use. Securely install the cutting tool on the end of the cable. We recommend that you start by running the smallest available tool through the blockage to allow the backed up water to start flowing and carry away the debris and cuttings as the drain is cleaned. Once the drain is open and flowing, other tools appropriate for the blockage can be used. Generally, the largest tool used should be no bigger than the inside diameter of the drain minus one inch. Getting started. Pull the cable out of the machine. Directly route the cable from the machine cable outlet to the drain opening, minimizing exposed cable and changes in direction. Assume a proper operating position to help maintain control of the cable, the machine, and yourself. Your mitted hand must be on the cable to control and support it. Feeding the cable into the drain. Insert the cutting tool and cable end at least one foot into the drain. This way, the end of the cable will not come out of the drain and whip around when the machine is started. To start, feed the cable into the drain, grasp near the center of the exposed cable with your mitted hand, and pull 6 to 12 inches of cable out of the machine so that there is a slight bow in the cable. Start the motor by moving the forward off reverse switch to the forward position. The motor will start but the cable will not rotate. The forward off reverse switch controls the cable rotation and not the direction of the cable movement. Again, grasp the cable with your mitted hand. Use your other hand to operate the clutch lever handle wearing a drain cleaning glove or mitt. Move the lever down quickly and decisively to engage the clutch and turn the cable. A slow or gradual clutch engagement causes excessive jaw set wear. The person controlling the cable must also control the clutch lever handle to minimize the potential for cable twists, kinks, and breaks. To stop the cable rotation at any time, move the clutch lever handle up or release it. Make sure the cable is rotating in the proper direction. In forward, the machine rotates counterclockwise when viewed from the front of the machine. Never run the cable in reverse except as specifically described in these instructions as it can damage the cable. Feed the rotating cable into the drain. Push on the cable with your mitted hand to work the rotating cable into the drain. 
to prevent twisting, kinking, or breaking, do not allow the cable to build up, bow, or curve outside the drain. When the cable has been fed into the drain opening, release the clutch lever handle and pull 6 to 12 more inches of cable from the machine. Then repeat steps for feeding the cable until the clutch is gripping near the end of the cable section. At this point, you may need to add a section of cable. Adding a section of cable. To add a section of cable, release the clutch lever handle and move the forward off reverse switch to off position. If needed, secure the cable to prevent losing it down the drain. Insert the female end of a cable section into the front of the machine. Push the cable through machine and guide hose until approximately one foot remains out of the front of the machine. Do not load more than one section of cable at a time. The cable section must be completely removed from the cable carrier before operating the machine. To connect a sectional cable coupling, slide the couplings together and confirm the connection is secure with the plunger pin fully extended. Insert any excess cable into the machine. Now, resume operation of the K5208 drain cleaning machine, repeating the steps for feeding the cable. Passing through traps or other transitions. If it is hard to get the cable through a trap or other fitting, you can use one of the following methods or combination of methods. Method number one, apply sharp downward thrusts on the cable, both with and without the cable rotating. Method number two, change the orientation of the cutter so it can negotiate the fitting more easily by releasing the clutch lever handle and rotating the cable by hand. Method number three, run the drain cleaner in reverse rotation for several seconds while pushing down on the cable. Only do this long enough to get the cable started through the trap. Running the cable in reverse can damage the cable. If these options do not work, consider using a smaller diameter or more flexible cable or try a different rigid drain cleaner. Cleaning the drain. Pay attention to the amount of cable that has been fed into the drain. The number of sections of cable in use gives you an indication of the total cable length. Minimize the amount of cable fed into the transition to prevent problems. The cable is not attached inside the machine. When approaching the end of a cable section, keep your hand securely on the cable to avoid losing it down the drain. As you feed the cable into the drain, you may feel and see the cable slow down and start to load or wind up. This means the cable may have hit a transition in the drain line, such as a trap or elbow, it may be slowed by a buildup of grease or other substance, or it may have reached the actual blockage. Continue to feed the cable slowly and carefully. Do not let the cable build up outside the drain. Working the blockage. If the end of the cable stops turning, it is no longer cleaning the drain. Immediately release the clutch lever handle and pull back on the cable to free it from the blockage. Do not keep the cable rotating if the cable end is stuck in a blockage as it may break. Once the cable end is free of the blockage and the cable end is turning again, slowly feed the rotating cable end back into the blockage. While working the blockage, the cable end may become clogged with debris and cuttings from the blockage. This can prevent further progress. Retrieve the cable from the drain and remove the debris. Let the spinning cable end dwell in the blockage to completely break it up. Do not try to force it through the blockage. Work it in this manner until it has moved completely past the blockage and the drain is flowing. If the cable end continues to get hung up in the blockage, a different tool may be needed. Handling a stuck tool, cable end. If the cable end stops turning and the cable can't be pulled back from the blockage, release the clutch lever handle. Keep a firm grip on the cable, it may want to whip backwards until the stored energy is relieved. Do not remove your hand from the cable until all the tension is released. Place the forward off reverse switch in the off position. Freeing a stuck tool. If the cable is stuck in the blockage, place the forward off reverse switch in the off position and try pulling the cable loose from the blockage. If the tool will not come free, place the forward off reverse switch in the reverse position. Press the clutch lever handle for several seconds until the cable is free of the blockage. Do not operate the machine in the reverse position any longer than required to free the cable in from the blockage or cable damage can occur. Place the forward off reverse switch in the forward position and continue cleaning the drain. 
Retrieving the cable. If possible, once the drain is open, start a flow of water down the drain to flush the debris out of the line and help clean the cable while you are retrieving the cable. This can be done by turning on a faucet in the system or other methods. Pay attention to the water level as the drain could plug again. Retrieve the cable by placing the forward off reverse switch in the forward position. Do not retrieve the cable with the switch in the reverse position. Engage the clutch lever handle and pull 6 to 12 inches of the cable out of drain. Release the clutch lever handle and feed excess cable into the machine. Repeat the process until the cable coupling joint has moved past the clutch. Then, release the clutch lever handle and place the forward off reverse switch in the off position. To disconnect using the decoupler, fully insert the tapered end of the decoupler to depress the plunger pin. For 7 8 inch and 1 and 1 quarter inch cables, use the longer tapered pin. For 5 8 inch cables, use the shorter tapered pin. Rotate the decoupler to contact the other coupling. Continue rotating the decoupler to slide the couplings apart. When uncoupling if needed, secure the cable to prevent loss down the drain. Remove the cable section from drain cleaner and place it in the cable carrier if desired. Do not operate the machine with more than one cable section in the guide hose or with a cable rotating on the ground as that can cause damage or injury. Reinsert the cable into the machine. Place the forward off reverse switch in the forward position. Continue retrieving the cable until the tool is just inside the drain opening. Release the clutch lever handle. Do not pull the end of the cable from the drain while the cable is rotating. The cable can whip around and cause serious injury. Place the forward off reverse switch in the off position and pull the remaining cable from the drain. If needed, change the tool and continue cleaning the drain. Several passes through a drain are recommended for complete cleaning. Remove the cable from the drain cleaner. With dry hands, unplug the machine. Draining the machine. Following use, you'll need to drain the machine. Place a suitable container under the drain plug. Pull the drain plug loose, it is retained by a lanyard, and allow the machine to drain. Replace the plug when the machine is drained completely by twisting and pushing the plug into place. Preparing for transport. To prepare the rigid K5208 drain cleaning machine for transport, remove the guide hose from the machine. Latch the clutch lever handle in the down position, wrap the cord around the clutch lever handle, and clip the GFCI in place. Secure the decoupler by firmly inserting it in the holder. When loading cable sections into the cable's carrier, connect the sections to make loading and unloading easier. Rigid's new K5208, the most powerful and compact sectional drain cleaner on the market, and you can take it anywhere.